Harass your opponent with this amazing money play up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Alright, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe button, also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. Alright, so guys, we're going to probably be doing a four-part series out of the Carolina Empty Bunch playset. You can also find this in the Steelers Gun Empty Bunch and the Seahawks Gun Empty Bunch, a lot of these plays. Um, I'm not somebody that runs a lot of empty sets. As it's just not my thing, uh, but I decided to go ahead and start experimenting, and I'm finding this is extremely difficult to stop, and it, and it has a lot of those bunch formations that um, that a lot of opponents uh, like to use online. Uh, but since it's an empty set, it's just going to give your opponent a little bit different look, and he's not going to go ahead and make the same type of reads. So we're going to be taking a look at Z's spot, and this particular play is uh, very effective primarily because there's a delay with the spot route, with a red route, and it allows you to go ahead and attack your opponent in, different area, uh, in a different area of the field and allows you to go ahead and harass him. More or, more or less, he's going to have to expect to stop that route because if he doesn't, if he doesn't stop it, um, it's going it, to. You can just chew him up for easy completions, easy five, six, seven yards, sometimes ten yards or more with the particular play. So I like to go and jump into this on money downs, and then it actually will establish the entire formation going forward. So let's go ahead and jump into um, this play. So once again, it's going to be the gun empty bunch, uh, and one of the base uh, plays that'll come out of the huddle is going to be the Z spot. Now this is not the best play uh, to use against man blitzes, uh, primarily because uh, with man blitzes you you want to try to establish this little delay route. Um, but with man blitzes, sometimes that defender might you might have a user in this area against man blitzes. Uh, but what I like about it uh, is that it is a fast, easy read little delay you can go ahead and check it down to this route right here now why this route is so special is because what I do is I streak up the inside receiver which is your running back so I've got Gurley on that and I go ahead and take this wide receiver and actually slide him in and this is really establishing the rest of my my um, my offense because I like to slide the guy over it allows me to go in and do a certain things against certain offenses so a little delay you're going to go and pop this as you can see right here I'm picking up a good nine yards the defender is not in a position to go and make a play uh, this is in a user area so that's the one thing you want to pay attention to but if we actually get the time I want to show you how this route is actually cool is that that deep dig route will get separation for you. Now, granted, I'm playing with an elite team, so uh, most of these passes are not going to come off as quick. But as you can see right here, I've got uh, that deep in route that I'm going to be able to do that. So it's kind of a um, the two areas of the field that your opponent's really going to have to be concerned about. He's got the little route by Jones underneath. You can also got this whip route on the back end side. So if he runs a lot of heavy man blitzes, you've got three fast reads that you can attack him with. Um, just to go ahead and attack him with that. And also you probably have a bomb opportunity too uh, with the running back, but against every heavy man blitzes, that's just not going to be something that you're going to see a lot. So let's just go ahead, try it one more time to see if we can go ahead and get Gurley up top. And aggressive catch not be able to come down with it but I don't want to keep showing this to you because most people were gonna play other different types of defenses like cover two cover three cover four and this is where this play shines now if your opponent plays cover two um, really what we're gonna be looking at uh, is still the pretty uh, pretty much the same routes Grox route is actually just pulling a guy out you got a little whip route on the back end side but really what it is is this little delay route this is going to just drive him nuts if he runs a lot of cover four, uh, cover two against you. You can just keep popping that. Uh, and it's going to set up the entire offense I'll, sh I'll be releasing to you on this big thing. It's just, you can see right here, nobody's in the area. I'm picking up a good 11 yards. If a defender floats down, so if the guy actually users uh, the area in the middle of the field, what's going to happen is now you can actually go and tack them over the middle of the field with that running back route. So it's important that you have um, a, a good patch, pass catching running back for this for this 
to work. If you don't have a good pass catching running back, it's not going to be the best thing. Uh, but it's just it's just popping those routes real quick. It's just going to be very annoying to your opponent to stop. It's just going to go ahead and streak up the running back. And let's see if we can get, do the deep dig route. You can see that gets a little bit dangerous right there if you don't pop that correctly. So you might want to stay away from that against cover two. But if he's using um, that running back route, then you're going to be able to get an opportunity for a play like that. So that's something you can th take consider consideration against cover two. So let's go ahead and run this against cover three. So we're going to run this against cover three. This is a double A gap blitz. So I know it's going to be zones. Once again, we just go ahead and drop it down to that harassment route. That that opens everything up with this this formation is that little harassment route. He's going to have to user it, and if he has to user it, then it's going to put you in a situation where you're going to go ahead and get easy completions. It's going to open up the rest of the offense. And also that dig route should get separation against cover three, allowing you to go ahead and, and, and get a completion. But also, if he does try to play the red route, you can get a nice little big completion right in the middle of the seam too with the, with the running back. So, uh, very effective against cover three too. Now, what if he runs uh, cover four? Let's go ahead and just run this against cover four. Show you how, once again, uh, that the little delay route is just going to be wide open. Now, look, I'm picking up 10 yards with it. again cover four he's going to have to manually take it away and that's just going to open up the rest of the scheme this is the base play and what about the other side well the other side you got the whip and that's actually gets a little bit more separation against a guy that runs cover four so that's going to help and then obviously this route is wide open. So pretty much against every single shell in the game, uh, these routes are all going to get the type of separation that we're looking for. And he's just going to have to go ahead and play the middle of the field. So guys, if you do like these type of tips, make sure you smash that like button. And I'm going to be rolling out more gameplay with this scheme and also about four other plays I'm going to break down with you just to show you how I make my reads and progressions. Uh, this is a, this, you can really get some razor yards with this, with this formation and a lot of people just don't use it online. And because it's empty set, um, if you got your reads down fast, you make your regressions fast, it pretty much will negate uh, his blitz. So once again, my subscribers, thanks for support, guys. If you do like these tips, make sure to subscribe, the subscribe button, and I'll until next time.